he embraces Islam without fearing the consequences, without fearing the calamities that were going to befall him and all the problems that he was going to face. Not only does he embrace Islam, such was the level of Iman that there is no fear in his heart whatsoever. And he comes to Nabi Karim sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and he says, Ya Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, O Messenger of Allah, we should preach openly. Nabi Karim sallallahu alayhi wa sallam explains, Ki Ya Aba Bakr, Inna Khalil, O Abu Bakr, this is not the time. We are a minority in Mecca. There are very few Muslims. Let us become strong. And then we will convey the message of Allah openly. Sayyidina Abu Bakr radiallahu ta'ala keeps on insisting. Finally, Nabi Karim sallallahu alayhi wa sallam gives permission. There are only 39 Muslims on the face of the earth. And Sayyidina Abu Bakr radiallahu ta'ala inside the haram, in Masjid al-Haram, in front of the kuffar and the leaders of the kuffar, stands up and he delivers the sermon and he preaches openly. No sooner does he start preaching that the kuffar pounce upon him and they begin to beat him. They thump him. They punch him. They kick him. They trample on him. They walk all over him. And they have given him such a beating that the hadith states from head to toe, Sayyidina Abu Bakr radiallahu ta'ala anhu is covered in blood. And they have beaten him so much that he falls unconscious. And every person that was in the haram believed that Sayyidina Abu Bakr radiallahu ta'ala anhu will not stay alive after this attack. To such an extent that his clan comes and they come and take him and they announce in the haram that in retaliation, if Abu Bakr dies, that in retaliation, we will kill Utba bin Rabi'ah for taking the most active part in this attack. Sayyidina Abu Bakr radiallahu ta'ala anhu is unconscious and his clan and the people and his family members call out his name but he doesn't come round the whole day and most of the evening he stays unconscious and when he finally comes round the hadith states that the first words that he utter are ma fa'ala rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam go my family or my clan tell me how is nabi akareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam his family and the member of his clan are disgusted disgusted that all days all day he remained in the jaws of death he was beaten savagely all because of one man muhammad ibn abdullah and he remained unconscious and now the only person that he thinks about is none other than muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam and they leave him but yet still the words that are flowing from his lips are tell me ma fa'ala rasul sallallahu alayhi wasallam how is the messenger of allah when his mother informs him Gemali ilmun bisahibi, that I do not know how your friend and your companion is he tells his mother go to Ummi Jamil the sister of Umar who had also embraced Islam go to her and ask her Ummi Jamil had kept her faith a secret thus when his mother came to her she said Ma'arifu Aba Bakrin wala Muhammad ibn Abdullah that I do not know who you are talking about I do not know who Abu Bakr is and I do not know who Muhammad ibn Abdullah is However, she comes to see Sayyidina Abu Bakr radiallahu ta'ala an. And when she sees him in this pitiful condition, she's not able to keep, keep her faith a secret. And she begins to scream and cry. But yet still the words that are flowing from the lips of Abu Bakr are, Ya Jamil, ma fa'ala Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You will have seen Nabi Karim sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Tell me how is the messenger of Allah. When he is informed that Nabi Karim sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is well, and he is in Darul Arqab, he is not content and he takes an oath that by Allah I will not eat and I will not drink till I see the blessed face of Rasulullah until I see with my own eyes that Nabi Karim sallallahu alayhi wasallam is safe and Nabi Karim sallallahu alayhi wasallam is well now his mother was desperate that Sayyidina Abu Bakr radiallahu ta'ala no eat and drink and she knew that he will not break this oath after he's taken it in the name of Allah Though, because Sayyidina Abu Bakr radiallahu ta'ala was weak and when every when the streets were clear his mother himself takes him to Nabi Karim sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and only, and only seeing the blessed face of Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was he consoled and was he content and on seeing the blessed face of Rasulullah he clings on to Nabi Karim sallallahu alayhi wa sallam weeping bitterly 
making Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam cry. And all the Sahaba and the weak Muslims that were there at the time, they are all crying. And then he turns around and says, Ya Rasulullah, Hadi Ummi Baratum bi waladiha, Fad Allah laha, Wad Allah laha, Asallahu ayyastan qida bika min al-nar. Ya Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, This is my mother. She has also treated, she has always treated me well. And she has always taken good care of me. Wa anta mubarakun. You are the blessed one. O Messenger of Allah, invite her to Islam. Invite her to the beautiful deen. And pray to the Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it is possible that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through you saves her from the fire of hell. Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam raises his hands. And then, and then his mother declares the kalima, La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah.